皆さん、こんにちは。ニーサチャンネル、資格ハンター編です。最新の英語ニュースを読み上げますので、英語の試験勉強やスキルアップにご活用ください。Ukraine mounts counteroffensive in Russia held Kherson, while Moscow focuses on East. May 28, 2022.9.22am update, May 29th. 2022, 2.45 p.m. VOA News File, a Russian serviceman patrols a street in Kherson, amid Russia's ongoing invasion of Ukraine, May 20, 2022. Ukraine mounted a new counteroffensive Sunday to reclaim land around the southern port city of Kherson. Russian forces shelled targets in eastern Ukraine in an attempt to capture Severodonetsk, The last Ukrainian controlled city in the Luhansk region. Kherson has served as a staging ground for Russian forces in southern Ukraine, the first major city to fall to Moscow's forces as they swept north out of Crimea more than three months ago. But Sunday, the Ukrainian military said on Twitter, Hold on, Kherson, we're coming. Meanwhile, Severodonetsk was a main focus of Moscow's offensive. And is now under heavy assault. The governor of the Luhansk region, which along with Donetsk makes up the Donbass region, said Friday that Russian troops have entered Severodonetsk. If Russia did succeed in taking over these areas, it would highly likely be seen by the Kremlin as a substantive political achievement and be portrayed to the Russian people as justifying the invasion, the British Defense Ministry said Saturday. Meanwhile, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky made a rare visit outside the capital, Kiev, on Sunday to meet Ukrainian forces in the eastern city of Kharkiv, a trip meant to highlight the success of Kiev in driving Russia away from Ukraine's second largest city. Zelensky was briefed on current operations in the city and presented state awards to the troops. I want to thank each of you for your service, Zelensky said. You are risking your life for all of us and our state. Thank you for defending Ukraine's independence. Take care. Ukrainian Regional Military Administrator Ola Sinyahubov said 31% of the Kharkiv region is still occupied by Russian forces. Ukrainian officials have signaled for weeks they hoped to launch a new southern counteroffensive to retake control of Kherson to try to cut off Russia's supply routes into the city on bridges over the Dnipro River. They said their attack would depend on the delivery of more Western artillery systems. Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky visits an area damaged by Russian military strikes, as Russia's attack on Ukraine continues, in Kharkiv, Ukraine, May 29. 2022. Ukrainian Presidential Press Service slash handout via Reuters. Indescribably difficult. Zelensky, in his Saturday night address, said more weaponry was also crucial in the indescribably difficult defense of the eastern Donbass region. Every day we are bringing closer the time when our army will surpass the occupiers technologically and by firepower, he said. But that, ultimately, he said, depended on continued and increased Western support. We work every day to strengthen our defense. This is primarily a supply of weapons, he said. Of course, a lot depends on the partners, Zelensky said. On their readiness to provide Ukraine with everything necessary to defend freedom. The New York Times reports that Ukraine is newly armed with Harpoon anti ship cruise missiles from Denmark, as Ukraine struggles to keep Russia from taking complete control of the Donbass. Russia's military says it has taken the eastern Ukrainian town of Lyman, a key railway hub in the Donetsk region. The capture could signal a shift in the momentum of the war. Following the joint actions of the units of the militia of the Donetsk People's Republic and the Russian armed forces, the town of Krasny Lyman has been entirely liberated from Ukrainian nationalists, the defense ministry said in a statement, using the Russian name for Lyman. The claim has not been confirmed. On Saturday, 
Russia also said it had successfully tested hypersonic missiles. The Defense Ministry said the Zircon hypersonic cruise missile traveled 1,000 kilometers and successfully hit a target in the Arctic. Taking control of Lyman would set the stage for Russia to begin the next phase of its offensive in the Donbass region. The town is located 40 kilometers west of Severodonetsk, the largest Donbass city still held by Ukrainian forces. The eastern Donbass region is Ukraine's industrial heartland and Zelensky has accused Moscow of carrying out a genocide there. Zelensky said that Ukraine will defend as much as our current defense resources allow. He sounded a defiant note against Russia's offensive in Ukraine's east, saying, if the occupiers think that Lyman or Severodonetsk will be theirs, they are wrong. Donbass will be Ukrainian. Ukrainian service members ride on top of a military vehicle, amid Russia's invasion of Ukraine, on the road from Bakhmut to Kostyantinivka, in Ukraine's Donetsk region, May 29, 2022. Ukraine seeks advanced rockets. Ukraine has been pleading for weeks with the United States to get US-made multiple launch rocket systems, or MLRS which are more powerful and more maneuverable than the howitzers and other artillery systems Washington and the West have provided to date. Those pleas have only become louder as Russian forces have pushed ahead in eastern Ukraine, making what senior U.S. defense officials have described as incremental gains in a fight that has largely featured artillery and other so-called long-range fire. We're mindful and aware of Ukrainian asks privately and publicly for what is known as a multiple launch rocket system, Pentagon Press Secretary John Kirby told reporters. But I won't get ahead of a decision that hasn't been made yet. We're in constant communication with them about their needs, he added. We're working every single day to get weapons and systems into Ukraine, and every single day there are weapons and systems getting into Ukraine that are helping them, literally, in the fight. Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov responded by warning that supplying Ukraine with weapons that could reach Russian territory would be a serious step towards unacceptable escalation. VOA national security correspondent Jeff Selden contributed to this report. Some information came from the Associated Press agents France Presa and Reuters. 以上で、今回のミーサチャンネルは終了です。最後までご視聴いただきまして、ありがとうございました。よろしければ、高評価とチャンネル登録をよろしくお願いします。